Well, this is certainly interesting. Everybody's favorite <laughs> googly-eyed goofball E. Jean Carroll seems to be a recipient of a massive amount of media protection. She is in, she'll probably be time person of the year. She's one of the 100 most influential people for some other shit lefty rag out there. And now you see on YouTube, you are not allowed to point out that she is a fucking criminal, right? Because nobody's above the law, bigots. Nobody's above the law. <laughs> what the fuck? What is the, put this thing back in Mordor. So anyway, the other day we made a video over here about this uh, gun nut who illegally had a gun. I, I don't think that this should be an issue, by the way. I love guns. I'm all for uh, guns. Big, big gun fan over here. But for the left-hand side that's constantly trying to take my guns away, for the left-hand side that's hyper-pedantic about all of these guns that haven't fucking shot anybody of the conservative side, law-abiding people, uh, you guys don't care about guns when it comes to Hunter Biden. When it, when it comes to your Zim Zerbs shooting up schools or your Zim Zerbs threatening to shoot up other schools or this dipshit over here or Alec Baldwin. That's fascinating. It's almost like, that's right, you're a bunch of commie kid fuckers, allegedly, of course. And so E. Jean Carroll had an unlicensed gun in that shithole New York. She said this on the stand during her bullshit Donald Trump case. The police then let her, for months, they're like, okay, well, uh, you illegally have a gun, huh? Well, uh, okay. And people were like, this chick's got an illegal gun. She's got an illegal gun. You Stop worrying so much about my lawful guns and worry about illegal guns. Or Alec Baldwin shooting people. And the left-hand side said no. And so the police finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks of people going, didn't this chick just admit to legally having a gun in New York City? I thought you guys cared about nobody. Blah, 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 blah. The police finally go, they confiscate her gun, and nothing happens to her. And they go, well, she let us confiscate it. So that absolves her of breaking New York's laws? I thought you guys cared so much about laws. But she, nobody's, above the, nobody's above the law. You guys put no guns and signs all over the place. This fucking criminal running New York is constantly trying to make sure that law-abiding citizens can't have fucking guns. Here's a person who's illegally got a gun, but because she's a fucking person bomb over here utilized by the deep state and the establishment to take down Donald Trump, she's got fucking protection. Her, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden smoking crack waving a gun around that he bought illegally. That his girlfriend then throws in a trash can away from, uh, a block or two away from a fucking high school, which is all illegal. So you make a video about this, and YouTube says, no, you're not, we're going to age restrict it. Now, they didn't pull the video down, but they age restricted it because people were watching it off of YouTube. And if they age restrict it, then it turns it off on these other platforms. So you have to log into YouTube in order to watch this video. So it's, it's limiting its reach. Now, I usually don't appeal these things because I don't fucking care, but this one, I'm sitting there going... How is how is this? How are you age restricting this? What what is the restriction that you're putting on this? And it said sexual content, explicit sexual content such as nudity. And I said, okay, well, there's no there's no fucking nudity in this. What, how is this sexual content? And uh, appealed it. Uh, surprise appeal rejected. So I imagine what's happening here is that E. Jean Carroll, her name inside the YouTube algorithm is it's protected. You, you can't point out that she's a fucking criminal. They were screaming with her. She's standing there. She's on CNN. She's on the BBC. She's, she, she did a media tour. Scream out, nobody's above the law. Nobody's above the law. Nobody's above the law. She's above the law. She's above the law. And if you try to tell anybody about it, YouTube will be like, uh, how can we best make sure people see this less? A lot. The fucking, my channel's already shadow banned. Like, my fucking channel's already, you guys already have suffocated the channel. And then you gotta throw bullshit uh, age restrictions so you can't post this on patrons.win. You can't post on these other platforms. And it's because you guys are protecting this fucking dipshit. Sexual content. Sexual content. Trust me. There is nobody having sexual content when they're looking at E. Jean fucking Carroll, especially Trump, you fucking bigots. But there you go. Very interesting, very fascinating. Uh, they don't want you to know that E. Jean Carroll over here illegally had a gun. 
was violating New York City's gun laws in that she is above the law while screaming that nobody's above the law. And she's getting protected by New York City, the media industrial complex, and big tech. So, there you go, idiots. We'll probably get another 50,000 views out of this. You fucking moron. You age-restricted this video, so I'll make a video about you age-restricting this video, and we'll get another 50, 60,000 views out of this. You fucking morons at YouTube. You bunch of fucking dipshits. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Support the channel. You're kept up to date on E. Jean Carroll being a bitch and YouTube being an asshole. Hit that subscribe button and make white because the salt must flow.